Yo, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to all the mod seven here from the members server. That's right, everyone. We're back here again. And uh, guys, real quick before we get started with mechanism today, that's right. I just want to go ahead and thank everyone. Uh, right now, we are currently at 86.4% not subscribed. So, um, yeah, that's almost 5% more. And I just want to thank you all so much. And hopefully we can get down to 80% soon or maybe even 81, a full 10% from where we're at. But I just want to thank everyone who subscribed uh, since I asked you guys you know, to go ahead and subscribe. It just it means the world to me. And I just want to thank you all so much for that. And let's go ahead and continue on with today's episode. All right, so we do have a mechanism that we are going to be tapping into today. Um, yeah, very excited about it. I have added three more of the wind generators here. So with each of these producing 52 FE per tick, um, we are now at 200 and uh, what is 208 fe per tick so that means we are good to go uh so we have plenty of power kind of sitting at our disposal so we can you know do some fun stuff so what i thought about doing with this guy and i already did it is i added some upgrades these energy upgrades which allow it to only use if we process something here let's get some redstone we'll get some iron i don't want to use too much of this because i want to enrich the redstone but say we put two of those in here as you can see, we're only using 2 FE per tick. Those energy upgrades are amazing. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be making a lot more of those. And then just to make the energy upgrades... Hey guys, I want to take a quick minute here to thank our server sponsor, MC Pro Hosting. Without them, this server would not be possible. Uh, if you and your buddies want to play all the Mod 7, MC Pro Hosting has you covered. With their server type selector, you can swap your server over to all the Mod 7 with ease and get started today. Use code Turtle Club during checkout to get 15% off your first month. It's super simple. Uh, all you need is two of the infused alloy, which is what we just processed with the iron, gold dust, and some glass. You just need to make eight of those, and you're off to the races. Uh, yeah, and just there you go. Super simple, but I want to go ahead and get more bang for our buck with the redstone here, and we can do that if we use the enrichment chamber. Uh, if we take a quick look here, let's look at the uses. Enrichment chamber, as you can see, for one, with applied energistics, it does yeah, big solid as well. But if we locate, um, say we wanted to do coal, we need to do this to make steel, we get enriched carbon, and that can be put into the metallurg metallurgic infuser, uh, and it gives us more bang for its buck. Because uh, I believe... Yeah, so this gives us 80... Like I guess it gives us 80%... Sorry, 800% more... Um, which is amazing. So we'll definitely be taking advantage of that. So we just need to go ahead and make the machine here real quick. Um, don't want to waste too much time. And so we need the osmium. Where'd you go? There you are. All right. So we will have to waste a little bit of redstone. Um, how much is that going to use? Is it going to use 10? I forget. It uses 20. Okay. So we have to use two redstone per one of these. That's the conversion ratio. We don't like that. That's not that fun. So if we go ahead and break this, we can see here's our uh, our cable. So we can go ahead and put it into power. Okay, enrichment chamber. We're missing a steel casing. I did make up a little bit more steel, and that's all we got. Ooh, yeah, I'm glad we're doing this because uh, we desperately need some steel perfect so the enrichment chamber let's go ahead and get a cable going there you are my friend okay so put this here bam enrichment chamber beautiful um we also want to go ahead and okay so let's let's do half a stack of those redstone guys however we want to go ahead and make the upgrade. So we need to make some more of these infused alloy. Um, so when this is done, yep, there we go. And we put that in. Bam, we got 80 of them. So this is using 20 FE per tick, which is fine. You know, we definitely have the um, the, the power generation to support it. Uh, however, it's just, you know, not quite enough. We want more. Um, so well, I guess we want more efficiency, really, not more. Uh, we can also go ahead and upgrade the processing power of it here pretty soon which is awesome. And then all you need to do is just shift right click and it goes in. So now we're using 14.99 FE per tick. Um, let's do this. 
Oh, look at that. I forgot I made up uh, quite a bit of these. So now we are using two FE per tick, just like we want. So yeah, a lot much more cost effective when it comes to redstone. And then even when we start getting into uh, carbon, which is, you know, the coal, and then we're going to have to use diamonds for it as well. Yeah, it just gets real pricey there. So I'm glad we have the enrichment chamber and we can go ahead and upgrade this, which I think we are going to go ahead and do now. Um, we're going to do the basic tier installer. So that's going to require some osmium. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of here. And we're going to swap it out for osmium, which is amazing and i believe we can go ahead and make one up already Ooh, we can make two yeah buddy so shift click and what this does is it gives us more options so we can go where is the sorting here it goes so now all of these we're still using the same okay we're using six fe per tick which is you know right because we have three of these now but now we're processing three of them at one time uh same with this as well it's just gonna make our lives so much easier uh, and then we can throw some speed upgrades in there, though we do need some osmium dust. So let's make up a little bit of osmium. Alrighty. And then we make these speed upgrades. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to put two in here. Bam. And two in here. Bam. And... The redstone is gone, but as you can see, this is definitely processing a little bit faster. And now we're using 18.97 FE per tick. But yeah, this is moving much quicker. And look at that. We already processed all of that. So now if we dump this in here, bam. This is how quick we're getting processed up for these guys, which allows us to make more, more better components, you know? So yeah, really cool. Uh, I'm going to let those process up for a bit. We'll move on to the next step. All right, peeps. So a little bit of time has passed here, and I have set up... Uh, three more of the basic infusing factories. You know, they're not too expensive. The enriching factory is a little expensive because we need steel for that. Uh, and then once we get this guy set up, the enriched uh, carbon, then we'll have no problem. But I wanted to go ahead and give each of these one because I don't want to have to dump this to put like carbon in it or diamonds. Like I just want to have each of these have their own separate one. Now these guys don't have any upgrades whatsoever. So they're going to be very expensive to run, which is totally okay. Uh, but what I'm going to go ahead and do now is we're going to take bunch of uh, coal we're gonna put it in there start getting some carbon uh, so we can start processing some steel perf okay so steel is popping off the yeah, 60 fe per tick my goodness that's a lot um let oh, we had a where's the osmium i thought i had more I thought I had more. Ooh, we are running low. We have 23 osmium left. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll just process it all up. Uh, let's see here. We could make some osmium seeds. However, do we have a way? Okay, Y10 to 100 is the best. Okay, so we might just have to set up some little tunnels with our hammer. Um, but sweet. Okay. The reason why... Oh, wait. We don't even want to make those. It's not even what those are for. We want to make the iron one. I feel a little silly. Okay. So, we have a lot of carbon now. We can put that in there. We are getting enriched iron, which is great. Let us get... Um... Yeah, efficiency upgrade. We definitely need these guys. Oh, we got one. Hey, one is better than none. Now we're using 44.99 FE per tick. There we go. Okay. Yep, 8 FE per tick. We're doing great. Uh, speed is definitely not available. But that is okay. We can now finalize that. Beautiful, and if we go uses here, there's a lot of different things we can use these for, but we want, I just type it in at mechanism. There you go, speed upgrade. We'll just use, oh, we got two. Bam, shebang. So now we take this, we put it back into here and we get steel dust. All right, I believe. Nope, it's got maxed out, so we can start doing this one. 
Okay, and if you guys are wondering, ah, oh, we can only do six. I don't know what this is for. This is for the enriched uh, obsidian uh, that we don't have as of yet. We can't make it, do it that way. Uh, it's a little wonky how we get, wait, hang on. Okay, so we put it in an enrichment chamber, obsidian, it turns into obsidian dust. Oh, okay, so we can actually go ahead and make that now. I do have a bit of obsidian thanks to uh, FTB Ultimine. We have a lot of it. So let's put all the carbon in here. Now we have steel dust. Look at that. Half a stack of steel. That's going to be great. Yes. Oh, you can't put it in the blast. A blast furnace. Nice. Cool. So now we got steel pumping on up. Now we got a lot of this. So we can put these guys in here. But now we need to enrich some diamonds. And I only want to do eight of them. Okay. And that's pretty much good. I don't think we need any more. All right, let's enrich some diamonds. We'll put the dust in here, and this will get us the uh, the, the powdered uh, obsidian, crushed obsidian. This guy, the enriched obsidian. So we got to put it back into the enrichment chamber. But now if we load this dude up, as you can see, these are going. Eight FE per tick, not bad. Bam. Perfect. So we have a little bit of refined obsidian dust. So now we can process this up in the enrichment chamber. And these are going to be good to go. So now I can take one of those, put it here, put the enriched or refined obsidian here. And now we have all of those guys. Now there's technically two more. There's enriched gold and enriched tin. Uh, let's see, what will we need this for? Okay, so we need it for netherite scrap. Um, don't really... I guess this saves gold. Maybe, yeah, this would save you gold, but not a whole lot. And then what about tin? What would we use tin for? Uh, oh, you can make bronze. Okay, yeah, so not really a high priority. We can just set up like another one over here maybe. Uh, but yeah, these are going to be the high priority on this. So, yeah. All right, so what we can do as well uh, is we can upgrade some of these guys. Okay, so we can upgrade, hopefully, all of them. Um, okay, so we are going to need some more. But we can go bam, bam, bam. And as you can see, now we have a total of five. Uh, so we can definitely process a lot quicker, which is great. It's just it's going to be five at once instead of just three at once. Um, so yeah, it is going to be great. So we'll wait for another batch. Beautiful. Bam. Okay. So we have those guys taken care of. Now we can put those in here. Look at all that refined obsidian we have. Those will really come in handy later. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I need two more. Can I make two more? Yes, I can. Sweet. Okay, so we can upgrade all of these up to... Advanced tiers, check it out. Yep, now we have five slots in each of these guys. So yes, they are looking great. Oh my gosh, I love them to bits. Love them, love them, love them to bits. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna get into a pretty advanced step. We're gonna require a little bit more uh, cable here. We're gonna, we're gonna get into the new spot. Uh, down below here, we do have a basement that the Endermen really like to teleport to. Um, but yeah, we're gonna put a ore doubling system down here, which is why we're getting into mechanism, but it is a little bit more advanced than just setting up two machines. Um, there's, I think, three machines. Actually, there's a couple. Um, so what we're gonna need is a purification chamber. Um, this will use uh, oxygen to double our raw ore. Um, yeah, raw nickel AC gets doubled block of iron of raw iron gets doubled into 18 so like it will help us double our ores but it does require oxygen which means we need the electrolyte electrolytic separator um and then we need to fill that with water and so we're gonna have to make a sink so that means do i have any clay i do not we need to go find clay clay oh we need to sleep sleep
Back to clay. We got water. And a zombie. Okay. Do we have any clay down here? Not in this little water stream. There's a creeper. He be creeping. Oh, that's stone. I believe this to be clay that we need. How much clay we get? Seven, that will suffice. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to smelt. Okay, we're going to smelt up the seven clay there. Actually, I'm going to take out two of them. We only need five. So that's all we're going to do. So this gives us the clay. Um, oh, another Enderman. It's in my ear. Jeez Louise, my guy. Are you down below? Nope. I don't know why the Enderman teleport into my house all the time. It is really annoying. He's probably upstairs. Where'd he go? Is he here? Is he in my bedroom? Hello? No, he's outside. Okay. He's underneath the gazebo. There you are. Did I clown? Thank you for the ender pearl and a grass block. That will be much appreciated. Okay, so let's... I need some water. Should have grabbed some while I was down there. Some water, water. There's another enderman. The opposite... Remember, guys, the opposite of an enderman is a starter woman. <laughs> That's an old joke. Anywho, let's see. That should be done. Yes. All right. So we can go ahead and put the sink. Bam. Step one completed. Don't need that anymore. Electrolytic separator. We just need some iron dust. Hammer. It's hammer time. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry. I'll see myself out. Running low on iron. I'm glad we're doubling our ores. Okay. Need this guy, bam, electrolytic core, and then we need this guy, electrolytic separator, bam, step two, Dunsky. All right, so that guy's good. Now we need a purification chamber. So we need another enrichment chamber, which we can't make because we're out of glass. This is the first time I've been out of glass in a while. All right, the one glass block that we require has been created. We have steel casing. Can make the enrichment chamber. We sure can. Can make the purification chamber. We cannot. Oh, no. We're out of osmium. Uh, we do have osmium dust, though. Thank goodness for that. Oh, my gosh. That would have sucked if we had to go mining for it. We just need the two. Oh, we don't even need that. Oh, frick. Don't do that. There you go. Okay, let those process, geez, had me worried for a bit. All right, the two osmium that we require are there. Purification chamber is ours. Okay, so now we have all of those. Now we need to get the proper cables and pipes and stuff. All right, so let us see here. Mechanical pipe. Okay, so this is pretty simple. I'm just going to make two of those. And do, 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 do. Okay, I don't believe we have everything that we need. Um,. Break this. Okay. So we're going to run power straight down from there. Yes. 
Okay, so do do do. We need to fill up the electrolytic separator with water. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put the sink here so we have access to it. And then if we take the mechanical pipe, I need a configurator. Yeah, we need one of those. Let's make those real quick. Look at that to hop. Very cool. Okay, configurator. Where's missing this guy? Easy peasy. Okay, we I don't believe we actually need to charge it to be able to use it, unless they change that since I've used mechanism, but no. Okay, so if we do that, perfect. We are getting hydrogen and oxygen. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna need an extra pipe. I believe we'll need gas. Um, pressurized pipe. No, that's the thermodynamic non conductor. Universal cable, pressurized tube. We need more, we need more Goliaths, which is good because we got more processed here. All right, pressurized pipe, or tube, sorry. Okay, we need to make sure we're pulling out. Okay, so for the time being a hydrogen, we're gonna be dumping the access that will be idled. definitely need oh yeah we need some some upgrades on this that's gonna be expensive okay so that's filled with hydrogen no um now if we do this why are you like that why are you filling up? I guess we just need to place them the other way. Oh, missed it. Okay, it's electrolytic separator. There we go. Just, just gotta think about it. All right, so we're dumping the excess hydrogen. We're taking out the oxygen. So if we just put it into a purification chamber like so, yes. All right, and so then we're gonna run Purification chamber, beautiful. So now if we grab our raw gold, it's very quiet or very loud. We can go ahead and make that quiet, but we need to go raw. Okay, and this will help us a lot with doubling our ores. Hopefully, hopefully we don't need any flint in there. I did see possibly. No, seems to be working. 80 FE per tick, dear Lord. This is the guy we really gotta worry about. Yes, we are doubling our ores, everyone. Um, so we can't just smelt it. We got to get a crusher now. Okay. What do you do with that? Oh, enrichment chamber. Oh, then you can smelt it. Oh. Okay, so we still, we still got some stuff to do. Okay, let's go make a crusher. I thought we were done. A little bit longer of an episode for you guys. Let's go, let's go. Um... Okay, so crusher, we need some steel again. We're out of osmium. Frick. Okay, get this guy smelted up. Do we need osmium for this guy? We do not think. Oh, we do. We're short one osmium. Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to utilize this one osmium here, and we're going to make osmium powder, uh, which will allow us to see all of the osmium kind of in the area. We're going to make a mortar. Perfect, okay. So let's make, actually, yeah, we just need to make this. Okay, so osmium powder, and then we smelt it, because we dealt it, <laughs> that was stupid. And then we brew this into some potions. Ah, oh, but we need a blaze rod. Jeez, let's go to the nether and kill a blaze. Good thing we got a bunch of them spawn around.
Okay, so the potions are brewed. These give us Osmium Sight for five minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and drink it up. Oh, I need to drink it more. All right, and so now once we get close to some Osmium, we'll just go into our little tunnel there. We should see the Osmium kind of chilling around. Um, where is it going to be? Nope, not yet. There we go. Got some Osmium. Okay, so it looks like it spawns kind of down lower, which is perfectly okay. Um, yeah, but we have to kind of pop into here, which is something I don't know if I signed up for. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, stone pickaxe with unbreaking. Very cool. Okay, osmium, there we go. Twelve, okay, so we have enough. Uh, we don't really need to worry about it, who cares if we waste it. We have two more potions, I can use those later, but now we have the raw osmium, which is perfect. So we just need two of those to be smelted up. Um, I'll probably do the same thing with iron. Uh, you know, just kind of go around for 15 minutes just mining it. Oh, wow, they stayed. That's a little crazy. That's... Why? Go away! You go... Oh. Yeah, so weird. So weird. Anyway. Those are done. Okay, so now we can go ahead and make the crusher, which is great. Uh, and then we need two lava buckets. Hopefully, I still have some lava... Yes, I do. Perfect. Okay, so the crusher now is created. Beautiful. So we can get rid of that. And then we'll need the energized smelter, which will require this. And we can make the energized smelter. Perfect. Now everything's going to be automated, uh, kind of. We might need to have an output and input chest, but we'll worry about that in a second. Okay. <sighs> Not enough room to output. Okay. So output's going to be on the left. We'll have eject set to on. And then we need to pump this into a crusher. Bam. And if we set that input, there we go. We'll set that to output. Yep, that just moved that over. Okay, so now the crusher is working, and this is going to turn it into dirty gold. Oh, man, we need an enrichment chamber in there, don't we? Um, yeah, okay, so we need to make another enrichment chamber, which is a little bit of a bummer. We need one more thing to make. Oh, my goodness. I feel like this is a run-on. All right, enrichment chamber, which means we need one more osmium to be smelted, which is okay. Okay, with that one osmium ingot created here, we can go ahead and make another steel casing and an enrichment chamber. And then we will have our revenge. No, I'm just kidding, we don't get revenge. This isn't Phantom Menace. Okay, so this gets pumped in. Input, output, eject. Ocedo cuz. And then, yep, that ejects to the left. This receives to the left, outputs to the right, and then now, yep, everything's working. We make a chest. Beautiful. All right, we got to have a little bit of iron left. We got enough left. <gasps> How do you make an iron chest now? Oh, I need to make a copper chest. That's interesting. I didn't know you had to do that. Oh wait, I have enough. I have a lot of copper. I don't need to smelt up anymore. Okay, so I yeah, I guess you have to make a copper chest now. All right, and then that lets you make the iron chest, that lets you make the gold chest, and then that lets you make the diamond chest, and then that lets you make the obsidian chest, and that's the top of the line. Okay. So obsidian chest here, I don't know if it's any bigger than the diamond, but it is a chest, regardless. 
And booyah, we're pumping stuff out into it. We are doubling our ores. So what we need to do here, um, pipe, pressurized tube, universal cable. We need the, tran the logistical transporter. That's super easy. So we need that to take items out of the chest. Uh, all right, copper chest, iron chest, gold chest, and that's it. Okay, so gold chest is going to be our input chest. And we can put that here. And then the logistical transporter we put here. And then we take our configurator cable and we do this. And now anything we put in here, like raw osmium, will get put in and will then get um, doubled. So this is still working on that. Again, I'm going to go through and make a bunch of the energy upgrades, especially for that guy, because we are more than likely using all of the power that we are generating. So let's do that here real quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We need the hammer. There we go. And then gold dust. We lack glass again. Okay, this will allow us to make just a couple. Okay, so we got two. Those will definitely help. You know, two is better than none. Okay, so now this is only using 160 FE per tick. This is using 80, this is using 20, this is using 20, and this is using 20. So it is a bit of a slow process, but we are doubling our ores. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and we doubled our ores today. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Peace out. Oh, bye bye